It's half past one in the morning in Vidin, northern Bulgaria, and Captain Sviatkov is nearing the end of a six-day voyage on one of Europe's most mythic rivers, the Danube. He and his crew set out from southern Germany with a load of cars and machinery. Customers are waiting in the Middle East. Yes, there's the navigating at night and long stretches away from home, but Sviatkov says this is the life for him. I wanted this job even as a child. After I qualified, I chose this route. And this boat is the best in Bulgaria. After the crew of the Han Asparu have offloaded, they'll take more freight on board and head north for Germany again. Waterways beat roads for transport in many situations. Europe has 37,000 kilometers of navigable rivers and canals, but the networks are vastly underused. Captain Sviatkov sometimes feels a bit lonely. There's so little traffic. In Bulgaria, for example, long-distance freight barges are still a relatively rare sight on the Danube. Some experts say that just 15% of the river's transporting capacity is used today. The company operating Captain Sviatkov's boat is one of only a few offering regular services this far south. This part of the river has great development potential. With some help, we could use the river as a lever to develop local services which could clearly lead to an increase in the river's use as a means of transport. Europe's inland waterways hold serious potential. Industry analysts say the right support could double the freight volume carried on canals and rivers. The EU's Marco Polo program is encouraging this as part of efforts to ensure more freight in Europe is shifted off roads. Over the course of three years, the ambition is to remove 61,000 trucks from roads in the Balkan region. The Bulgarian river service is one of those benefiting from the Marco Polo plan. The funding enabled us to develop by increasing the capacity we offer our clients. As a result, we were able to improve service and attract bigger customers. Here in Vidin, using inland waterways more would clearly be good news for the local economy and jobs. River transport is extremely important to the economy of Vidin. It can be used as a springboard for growth. Goods can be transported by vessels docking close to the town. Education also has a key role to play in developing Europe's waterways. Students training in today's logistics industry must be aware of the options. Further north on the Danube, in Vienna, the company Via Donau has used Marco Polo funding to develop computer and network-enabled knowledge transfer. The program aims to help the next generation of logistics managers understand rivers and canals' advantages. If the inland navigation sector does not switch to e-learning, we will lag behind other sectors. The pluses of e-learning are you can do it wherever and whenever you want. This benefits the students since they all have internet access. It also helps ship crews as they can study whenever they want. The system is already past the trial stage. It's being used with university technical students in Austria. 
Die Zukunft, die, die Jugend sind, sind zu, sind im Young Zeitung people will increasingly be born into the digital environment, so-called digital natives. They need other ways to learn. So it is very important that we use this system that helps digital natives by adapting learning to their needs. Developing inland water transport in Europe also involves technical challenges. In Magdeburg in eastern Germany, transport companies have to cope with very low water levels on the Elbe in summer, which rules the river out for the biggest barges. In the past, this meant potential clients upstream from Magdeburg, say in Dresden, and Dechin and Lovosice in the Czech Republic, often sent cargo to northern Europe by road. But with help from Marco Polo, the company ecological transport service Elbe, goods can be transferred quickly from small boats, which can navigate in shallower water, to larger ones, which then journey northwards from Magdeburg in deep water by canal. The new river canal combination has certain advantages over using the old road route. Our project's eco-friendly aspect is that we use inland water vessels which pollute very little. We shift cargo from roads to water using an existing natural transportation route with great reserve capacity so that growth will be possible in the future. Customers seem keen to take advantage of the green credibility that this service offers. To go from Magdeburg in Germany to Valenciennes in France with big boats does not pose a problem. But Dresden to Magdeburg nearby is more problematic. In recent years that was mostly done by road. When we switched to water, it was a huge quality improvement. A boat like this carries 20 trucks worth of cargo. The Marco Polo program's namesake is the trade and travel pioneer of Europe's Renaissance period. The program doesn't set out to revitalize Europe's inland waterway sector single-handedly, but by supporting innovative projects, it is helping to chart the way forward.